Today in San Francisco, funding was approved for a net to prevent people from jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge. It is estimated that 1,600 people have committed suicide there since the bridge opened 77 years ago. Here's John Blackstone. The Golden Gate Bridge was shrouded in fog today as families of those who jumped from the iconic structure urged the bridge's board of directors to stop the suicides. I lost my husband. I lost my 17-year-old daughter, Casey. This is a picture of him saying goodbye three minutes before he jumped off the bridge. The board was voting on a plan to add a suicide prevention net, something families have been pressing for for 20 years. There's nothing that I could do now to bring my son back. I'm doing this for the other people. Why did you choose the bridge? Very simple. Four foot nothing rail. Easy access. Kevin Hines jumped and survived in the year 2000. I walked back toward the traffic railing. I ran forward and I catapulted myself over the rail. The single worst action of my life. I wouldn't call it a decision. For years, critics have complained a net would ruin the Golden Gate's classic design, that the estimated $76 million cost was too much, and that the suicidal might just go somewhere else. Once you save the person, give them the aid they need mentally, they stay stable and they stay sane and they stay well and they stay away from that bridge. When the board voted, the decision to add the net was unanimous. It's a beautiful bridge now. It'll be more beautiful when that net goes up. A study of 500 people who tried to jump from the bridge but were stopped showed that 90% of them, Scott, never again attempted suicide. Thanks very much, John.